Hello everyone, welcome back for the Nintember Black Box Spectacular. So what we have today is Slalom. Slalom is not memorable, to say the least. It was an arcade game first. And, well, one way it is memorable is this was, I believe, the first game Nintendo had that was developed by Rare. And, <clears throat> true to Rare formula, this game, if I recall correctly, it's been a very long time, gets very hard very freaking quick. But we probably won't see the hard parts because, like many other games on this list, this is not a game I have a lot of experience with. But the goal is simple. You are a skier. You're going down a hill. You have little, you have little piles of snow you can jump on, catch some air and do tricks. You can press forward on the pad to lean in and go faster. And you're trying to go between the flags. It may look like the flags just have little plus signs on them, but they have kind of arrows. It's kind of hard to tell. Just in general, you, you want to stay on the correct side of the arrows or your guy's going to slow down. The game, only, the game doesn't end if you crash at all, as you can see from the demo. The game only ends when you run out of time. Seen in the upper, upper right before you complete a course. That's it. That's the only thing. However, in the arcade, this this uh, arcade game had a rather unique kind of way to control. You actually had like a pair of, a, a pair of grips that looked kind of like ski poles on the machine itself. And then something to put your feet in that you actually rocked back and forth to control the skier. So yeah, that, it was kind of innovative in that way. Unfortunately, in ES, we didn't get anything like that. We just had simple D-pad and uh, buttons. So yeah, don't hit the trees. Hit the moguls if you want to jump, but that will... Uh, well, not so much jump, but ramp. But that will... That will take away some of your time because it will slow you down. If you noticed, you don't necessarily crash just because you bump into something. You bump into a couple things in a row and you will. At least some things can, you know, get you. But anyway. I don't think I wanted this, but... We'll see how I do. See, you can do a small jump there. And yes, if if I can hit one of these, you do a little, uh... You can make your uh, skier do a little bit of extra... I got the qualifying run with 15 seconds left. That it looks like he's crying, but he's celebrating. And if you manage to jump and press down on the D-pad, which normally makes you slow down, if you manage to press down, which is normally your slow down, while you're airborne. You will do the trick like that. And you saw him kind of, you heard, you heard that scrape that happens. That, that's if you miss a, uh, if you miss a gate, you will slow down. That's your penalty for missing the gate. Control 
puzzles are definitely not the easy part of this game. It's very, very touchy. And I failed. So that's a, I almost made it to the end of that course. Almost. And, 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 and there we go. So let's see if I can get take the easier courses so you can actually see more. Snowy Hill is the easy, Steep Peak is medium, and Mountain Nasty is the hard course. There we go. This should be somewhat easier. You would think so, but I'm probably going to mess it up just like I did the first set. Also, if you do hit one of those hills, let go of the down pad before you, uh, let go of the down pad before you, uh, land, or else you will crash. Because you notice how he kind of has his skis generally pointing downward when you do that. Also, you, you do see hopefully what I mean by the fact that you slow down when you're in the air. <clears throat> Once again, he cries in celebration that he did not die on the way down the mountain. But I got a lot of freestyle points. Once again, you don't have to do the freestyle stuff. Ever. Just ignore the moguls completely. And, well, hopefully, you don't do what I'm doing here and hit every goddamn flag on the way. Of course, it's not helping me that I'm pressing. I'm constantly holding the up button on the pad and trying to steer at the same time. Nah. I think each the three mountains each have eight courses in them, I believe. Am I gonna finish? It's getting close. Definitely close. I don't feel like I did that bad a job. There definitely is not a, uh, not a lot of room for, uh, mistakes. Even on the easy mode. Oh good, now we have jackass uh, sledders. We're like taking right we are like right in the paths I wanna race in. So 
Who let the letters on the ski course? Really? I am probably not going to finish this course. Just barely finished it. Just barely. So yeah, even on easy this game, even on the easy mode this game is uh, challenging me. That was not much bonus score. Please keep the damn sledders off the course. See how this might have been much easier to control in the arcades. I don't remember playing it. I remember seeing it and being completely turned off by the weird foot control scheme. But, you know. feels a little easier than the last course did. That is evidenced by the fact that I had more time. Be having those guys going left to right and right to left on you? That's like, ah, crap. This course is almost entirely straight, which scares me to death. I think I could be completely wrong about this, but I think if you actually complete a course fast enough, you will actually get to race by yourself on the next one. I think. This course has my number. Granted, it's nowhere near the difficulty of freaking Mock Rider. Ten seconds is not enough. That whole section in the middle stopped me. But that's solemn. It's not terrible or anything. It is much more difficult than I am. Uh, than my never having played it is ready for. Yeah, close enough. Ah, uh, is about my reaction to playing this. But anyway, yeah, there we go. Tune in tomorrow for something I have to actually figure out how to play because I could not figure out what was going on tomorrow. So until then, take care, everyone. See you later.